sleeper. Did you sleep good? Yes. Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I have been terrible at vlogging today. I am still getting used to picking up the camera again. Today hasn't, we haven't really done anything so far today anyway. I just did like tummy time and stuff with him this morning, which you guys saw. And then we went back to sleep for our morning nap. And then me and Dion just kind of got up and started cleaning up around the house. And now he has gone to the grocery store to get ready for dinner tonight. And I just got through with putting up some of his laundry because I pulled out his three to six month clothes. And I washed up all this stuff so that I can kind of be prepared for him to move into the next size. And so I put away all of his zero to three months some of his three months stuff and newborn stuff had already been put up but um i keep it in that container down there under his crib if you can see that and right now he is in his crib taking a nap and so because he sleeps best on his tummy but he's not the best at lifting his head and turning his head from side to side yet i'm not comfortable like leaving him by himself so at his longer nap times, I try to do stuff where I'm going to be close, close by or in his room. I bring whatever I'm doing in his room to work on. So I'm close to him when he's sleeping or whatever. But Amazon just dropped off my package. And so I picked up what to expect in the first year. I didn't know this was a thing until it popped up when I was looking for some Montessori toys for um, infants and um they also dropped off the decor i have the um decor is it decor or decor uh diaper pill i showed you guys that when i was pregnant i did like a little baby haul or whatever um my diaper pill is right back over here but this weekend we are finally starting to cloth diaper i wanted to use up all of the disposable diapers that we had because people purchased them for us so i didn't want the money to go to waste and i didn't want to figure out which store it came from to return it and all this stuff so i just used them because the diaper, uh, the cloth diapers were really big on him anyway so i wasn't in like too much of a rush so this weekend we are officially starting cloth diapering so i went ahead and got the cloth liners for the diaper pill because i picked this diaper pill because you can use either disposable diapers with plastic bags or you can use cloth diaper cloth bags for cloth diapering so this finally came and then the first toy well i already knew that i wanted to do like um like follow the Montessori method for him and I researched throughout pregnancy or whatever and I like bought some blocks and stuff like that like little wooden blocks and I kind of started in his room with like keeping his bookshelf lower to the ground so as he grows he can access what he wants and you know just and I don't put out all of I didn't put out all of his books even now I'm just kind of like rotating through his books just so I would be in that habit of not having everything out at once so that I can rotate it so I can always have something new to stimulate him and he can always find something new that sparks his interest you know as he lose, loses interest in things so 
I knew that I wanted to look more into the Montessori method and I would be buying his toys and stuff. So his first toy outside of like the little blocks and stuff that I had already bought him is a squish and it's like the most basic thing and um even though you're following the Montessori method you don't have to use like all the natural wood if you don't want to I wanted to get something with color for him um so it's wood and the beats you can see they they make noise the beats slide back and forth so he can learn to play with that but right now I'm trying to work with him with just grasping things and when I went researching, I read that the squish, which is what this is called, it comes in this packaging and it's a squish. But it's wood and you can smash it down like you can smash it and then it always bounces back to the size. My battery is about to die on my camera. Um, but I want to start working with him to grasp, like with grasping. So I started playing with it and making the sounds with it earlier. And it really sparked his interest so far. He just wanted to like stare at it. And he's kind of like moving his arms towards it. But he hasn't made the connection with reaching to grasp something so that's what i'm going to be working on with him and i'm going to use this and there's another toy that i wanted to get but amazon was talking about september time frame and i don't know i, don't, I think dion could probably make it so we might be making a trip to michael's here soon yeah that's all we're doing my days are usually pretty mellow like this um he likes to get his naps and stuff in and i just follow his lead so we're we aren't stressed <laughs> i follow his lead and the house stays pretty calm so yeah that's all i'm doing today and i'll catch up with you guys in a minute hi you guys today is a very chill day today is juneteenth happy juneteenth to everybody what am i doing today I am waiting on Lux to wake up so that we can go out for the day. We have some errands to run. I need to go to the bank. I need to go to the grocery store. And I think I'm going to make a Target run um, because I think I want to buy an, what is it, Nespresso? I want to buy Nespresso. Nespresso. I want to buy one of those for a quick coffee in the morning because I've started back drinking coffee. I wasn't a big coffee drinker at once. Once upon a time, I used to drink coffee every single day. And now, let me turn this down. Turning the volume down. The baby is sleeping, so I have him on the monitor in front of me. He's kind of wiggling now, so he might be coming out of a nap. He's coming up on being asleep for two hours now, so he should be getting ready to wake up. I'm gonna get him, you know, wiped down and ready for the day. Yeah, so we're going, I think I want to get an espresso because I want a good cup of coffee if I'm going to drink it. Um, and I want something quick because right now we have like a regular coffee maker that like grinds coffee beans if we buy regular coffee beans, which we used to all the time buy coffee beans so we would have it fresh. Um, but now I need something quick in the morning um, instead of having to pull out all the parts and mixing and all that stuff I think that's what I'm about to go do so um, they have them on sale at Target I think it's about 140 something but on Amazon they have it for like $130 right now on sale so I'm gonna see if Target will price match and then I also have the Target red debit card so I'll get an extra 5% off so I'm gonna try to see how much cheaper I can get it. Um, they do have the bundle one. The bundle, I feel like might be a little bit more where you get like the like frother thing, but I don't know if I need that, if I want all the parts. I'm trying to make it simple for myself, but I saw that they're like $60 if I buy it by myself, uh, like buy it on its own. So we'll see, I'll see what the store has in stock when I get there what kind of sale is going on when I get there and I'll go from there but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna go ahead and buy one today it's so hot so yeah that's all that's happening today we don't have much going on but 
I have things to do so I'm about to get them done it's kind of getting a little gray outside like the sun just went away so let me check and see oh oh no it's just gonna be cloudy so no rain this cloth diapers just finished um we're starting cloth diapering today we have three more disposable diapers and then we're done with disposable diapers i just wanted to use up what everybody gave us at the baby shower and now we are gonna be into these cloth diapers or starting these cloth diapers today and i'm excited pray for me yeah <laughs> we'll see how it goes especially at night i'm like how is this gonna go at night when he's sleeping longer like he's sleeping longer through the night so i'm trying to figure like how these cloth diapers are really gonna do at night if we're gonna have to pee in the bed uh pee in his bassinet i don't know but we're gonna see what happens <laughs> He is in here knocked out, y'all. Let me see how long he's been asleep now. I use the Glow Baby app too to kind of keep track of like my feedings and stuff. I fell off, but now I'm using it again. Now that I'm trying to see like how long he's sleeping and stuff like that. He started sleeping longer now that I'm using the Nested Bean sleep sack. And then he also sleeps better when he's on his stomach. I know they're supposed to be on their back but my baby sleeps better on his stomach he does not choke on his stomach when he's sleeping on his stomach and that's the reason i started putting him on his stomach because when i would lay him on his back his reflux was so bad that he would choke and i can't have that so i turn the monitor on if i'm gonna leave the room he's been asleep for two hours and 10 minutes so i'm probably just gonna go ahead and wake him up um because i've still been trying to keep him like eating every two hours so i want to wake him up change him put his clothes on him and then feed him but before i do that i need to make sure the diaper bag has everything that i need so i'm going to do that really quick pack up his diaper bag make sure it has everything that i need for today's outing um and just kind of pull everything out so it's right here by the front door and then i'll wake him up change him you guys i just left out of target and i'm so annoyed 
so with my target trips now i like to do the target drive up pickup situation however i placed my order last night and then um this morning i realized i needed some more stuff and i just left my endocrinologist office so at my doctor's appointment and she told me that I needed to take more vitamin D and stuff so I came to pick up more vitamins and get some other stuff that I needed and of course coming to Target you realize you need everything so I came to pick up things that I need and I got to the register to like the little pickup lane or whatever and I was like hey you know I have an order that I need to pick up too and she was like oh if you did drive up you gotta go outside and then do the drive up and I'm like but I'm right here you can't just you know tell them hey she's actually at the register just bring her order to the register instead of having them rent in and out in the heat I don't know some people just don't think and I was like I'm not about to fight with you in the store I'll go to my car and just move from one parking spot to the next and then make your co-workers come out in the heat because I, I don't have the time today so um now I'm sitting here waiting for somebody to bring me my order they had spend 75 get $20 gift card back if you got um, like baby essentials or whatever and we have started cloth diapering as we've talked about what I've realized in like my few days of cloth diapering is that we're having some leaking issues the lady is coming with my order so let me let me get out one second hey i was just see the girl who delivered my stuff or the lady who gave me my stuff felt the same way <laughs> she rolled her eyes she was like you ain't the first person that said that so so she i got my stuff but what i like to do though and i probably explained this before is whenever they do that gift card give you my hair is puffing up because it's so hot outside and it's kind of humid it was wavy and stuff this morning and now it's all straight but um what i like to do is when they give you like the gift cards and stuff back i like to go ahead and buy stuff like diapers and wipes and stuff like that mostly wipes because i knew that we would be cloth diapering but since cloth diapering, I found figured out that I the boy pees through the diapers at night and he's sleeping longer stretches at night. And so I did some research or whatever and some Pinterest searching on cloth diapering and cleaning and just other tips with cloth diapering. And what I found out is that a lot of people use disposable diapers at night because they hold a little bit more because every time he's sleeping now he's wetting his own his crib or he's getting pee in my bed if he's sleeping in my bed and he's peeing getting pee everywhere so i decided that at night we're gonna be cloth diapering him i mean just using disposable diapers when he's sleeping um and see if that helps and then just use disposables during the day and that's cool um but i'll talk more about disposables and stuff later but yeah that's why I came to Target originally because I'm getting this $15 back. I like to do that because I've been collecting those gift cards. And like right now in the car seat, like the, what is it? The Grow With Me car seat is um, on sale right now. So my plan is to use the car seat use the gift cards that I have so I got gift cards as baby shower gifts or whatever that I saved and um, every time I do these kind of trips to Target where I'm getting gift cards and stuff back I save the gift cards and I'm just gonna use them all now to pay for his grow with me car seat so um, yeah I like to save them up and then use them on one you know bigger item or something else so that's what I'm doing um, I'm gonna go ahead and order his his um, car seat today because they don't have them in store. I think they have one at another Target, but that one is like 25 minutes away from me, um, and I don't think I want to go way over there. So yeah, it's in um, in Norfolk. I don't want to go way to Norfolk too. 
Thank you.